Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to DJ's Workshop. Uh, so we're here on a very chilly December morning. It's about 20 degrees outside and a little cold. Unfortunately, I have a repair I need to get done today, so I'm going to have to uh, just kind of bear the cold and get it done. So what's going on is the, uh, the Eurovan has developed a noise coming from the pulley area, and I've determined that it's coming from the air compressor um, clutches and the bearing. So I'm going to replace that. I'm not going to go ahead and replace the whole compressor, even though I do have a, a whole unit here. Because in order to do that, I have to evacuate and recharge the system, which I don't have the ability to do in my garage. So the main issue is actually just the bearing making noise. Um, it's very noisy when you um, have it at idle, but when you turn the AC on, the noise goes away. So that, that indicates that it's something in the clutches or the bearing. So what I'm going to do is I purchased a whole compressor only because it's cheaper for me to get a whole compressor than it is to just get the clutch kit, which is getting kind of hard to find. So I'm going to simply t take the uh, clutch kit off of this compressor, put it on the one I have now because it works fine, and then I'll have a backup compressor in case the one I have ever fails. So I'm going to show you the noise that I'm hearing, and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do to get this thing replaced, okay? All right, so I'm going to start it up, and let's see if she's making the noise. Okay, that little squeaky noise that you hear, and that's what I'm talking about. And I believe that is the bearing making that noise. So we're going to get this in the shop, uh, try to get the shop warmed up a little bit, and then uh, we'll get to taking that out. All right, so the first step is I took the, uh, the wheel off because the AC compressor is basically right behind this pan here. So there's a couple of bolts that hold that pan on. we got to take those down, and then that will give us access to the compressor. Um, first, got to pull the clutches off of the new compressor so that way when we get in here we can switch them out all right so let's do that first all right so this is our new compressor and what we want to do is take this nut off the end here so let me see if i can get it off with this impact okay so we have the nut and then we got to pry this piece off of here so let me see if i can get that off that piece off there's a little spacer washer in there make sure that stays with that and there's gonna be a snap ring inside of here that we got to take off so let me get that off Alright, so I had this um, cheap pair of snap ring pliers, and they were good for what I needed at the time, but they, they're kind of cheap. So it didn't have the strength to pull the retainer out of this here, so I went down to Napa and uh, purchased these. They're from Carlisle, uh, and they're a heavy-duty set, and as soon as I put them on there, I was able to take the snap ring right off. So um, if you're doing this... Don't uh, don't bother getting one of these cheap sets. Just get yourself a good one. This was like maybe forty five dollars, but it's gonna save you a lot of aggravation. It comes with different tips also. All right, so now that that's off, we're just gonna pull this off. All right, and here is your bearing in here, and that's more than likely what's causing the noise that I'm hearing. All right, so we do have the uh, the magnetic portion here, which I may not switch because I know mine works. So I'm gonna try just replacing the bearing and the clutch and uh, hopefully that takes care of the noise for me. So next step is we gotta get underneath the van, get that shield down and um, access the uh, compressor that's on there now. So let's do that next. All right, so once you get under here, uh, you can see the compressor is exposed pretty easily, so that's good. Um, you have a tensioner up here that you need to release the tension off. And I bought this tool from Harbor Freight. It just hooks right on there. And you're going to pull on it to release the tension off of that so you can release the belt. You don't have to take the whole belt off. Uh, you just want to take it off of the compressor so that um, you can get the pulley off. 
So let me get that on there. I'll pull the tension off and I'll take the belt off of the compressor here. All right, so you can see where the uh, the tool goes on and you just pull down on it and releases the tension. And then I just took the belt off of uh, the compressor. So next thing we got to do is get that nut off and try to get these clutches off. All right, so you get two horns under here. Uh, one of them was actually in the way, uh, this one here, uh, from me putting the the gun on here to take the nut off. So once I get that horn dropped out of the way, it's just one 14 millimeter bolt hole in it. Uh, then I was able to get the nut off of the um, compressor like I did on the other one. So let me just slide this off of here and see what, uh, what we got underneath. All right, so we got the, uh, the clutch off of there and you can see all this brown nastiness in here. Um, this is supposed to spin nice and free and it's very tight. So that's, uh, that's definitely an issue there. Yeah, it's very tight to turn, so that bearing is pretty much shot. So let me get this off of here and uh, we'll get the new bearing on there. Okay, so here's the old one. And that bearing is shot. All right, so pretty much guaranteed that's what our issue was. All right, so I'm just going to look at this and then determine if I want to use this old ring or if I want to put the new one on there. All right, so looking at it, it still looks like it's in good shape, and I know it works. So I think I'm just going to leave that one on there for now. Uh, obviously, the bearing was the main concern. So let's put this new bearing on here. Beautiful, slides right on. See how nice and freely that spins? That's the way it should be. All right. Um, we're gonna need to put that snap ring back on there. So let's line this back up. Okay, now you wanna make sure that this thing is snapped into place. There is a groove that it sits in, so you just want to make sure it is seated in that groove. Okay, I just heard it snap in, so that's good. You obviously don't want this snap ring popping out on you as you're going down the road. Okay. So now... We're going to take the tension off of the uh, tensioner again, and then we'll wrap the belt around the pulley and then put the clutch blade on. All right, so again, we'll put the tool on the tensioner, pull the tension off, and now we have the belt wrapped around. Now you want to make sure that your belt is properly seated on all the pulleys. You don't want to have it riding off of one of the grooves. So everything looks good here. So we'll get the, uh, the clutch plate put back on there. All right, when you put this back together, make sure you put that little washer that came off of there back on there. And now we'll put the clutch plate on there. Slide that in. I'm going to put the nut back on there. And we'll just sock it down easy. Alright, and that should be good. Uh, so we have the new bearing on there with the new pulley, um, new clutches, belts back on there. This belt's in excellent shape. It was replaced not that long ago, so we're good with that. If the belt was looking shaky, 
uh, then I would probably replace it while you're in here. Um, just obviously keep an eye on how the belt is wrapped around everything so you know how to put it back the correct way. So um, at this point I'm going to uh, start it up and make sure that the noise is gone and then if it's all good we'll just button everything back up and it should be good to go. Everything looks good. It's getting nice and free, nice and quiet. I'll kick on the AC just to make sure that that's working properly. Okay, so it doesn't look like the AC kicked on for whatever reason, and it was before. So I guess uh, I'm gonna have to replace that ring. So let me uh, let me just take this apart again, and we'll put that other ring on there and see if that takes care of it. All right, so there's a another big snap ring um, that we have to take off to get this other piece out. Okay. And then the wire runs up above and then connects over here. That's the actual connector right there. So took the snap ring out, slid that out, took the wires out. Now we're going to take the new one. I'm going to slide the wire back in there. And then we'll slide this back on here, put the snap ring reconnect it on that end and then put it back together like we did before. So let's do that. All right, so we have the new electronic piece replaced as well. Uh, so we are going to start it up again and see if the uh, compressor works. Now what I did was, before I hooked it all up, um, I did connect a power lead to the um, terminal on the compressor and I did hear the clutches kicking in and out so this should uh, allow it to work properly now so let's uh, let's start it up and make sure she's working Okay, so as you can see, the uh, compressor is now kicking on, working properly. So I'm going to go ahead and button this all back up. And uh, that should take care of that problem. So that barren noise is gone. Uh, that was definitely the issue. Uh, we got all the new components. I do have a new compressor put aside now in case this one should fail. But this one is working properly now, so that will take care of that problem. All right, guys. Um, if you have a similar issue, um, you can replace just the clutches uh, without having to replace uh, the whole compressor and disconnecting it and recharging it and all that. And that is how you would go about doing it. All right. Hope that helps you guys out. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up, a share, a like, and subscribe if you haven't. And I will catch you guys on the next one.